guys, what's up? Drubbing Babies here, and welcome to another interior tutorial. And today, we're going to be building a dining room. This dining room is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the dining room is 12 by 9, with a 2 block indent that goes 4 blocks wide. So keep that in mind if you're building along with me. The materials we're going to be using are a block of quartz, cobblestone, glass pane, quartz stairs, roses, flower pots, redstone lamp, levers, and anvils. So first off, I think I want to do the anvils. So that's going to be, we're going to place the cobblestone in the corner. And repeat that for each corner of the room. Now, when I was thinking of building this dining room, I was like, what to do with this? And I was like, you know what, I want to make this like kind of modern looking, kind of unique. So that's what I did. Next we want our jungle leaves. That goes up three high on each side. And usually you see like a really contemporary dining room in a house, even if it's modern. So I'm giving you guys a really cool modern dining room design. And for sake of OCD, I'm going to change up these anvil locations a bit. So we're going to build them like that. That's good, that's good, and that one's good. Okay, cool. Now, the next step is to fill in the windows with these glass panes, which looks very nice. And the window should be parallel to the table that I'll be building in a few moments. I don't think this is dark, but just in case it is, I'll start on the fireplace, which is why we need our nether rack. By the way, this is in the city texture pack if you haven't noticed that yet. Flint and steel to light the fire. Now we get our iron bar to block off the fire. Then we use our quartz stairs to build like a little modern cover for the fireplace over it. After that, we want to get our cobble back, take out the jungle leaves, and then on the four corners, like this, we're going to be putting iron bras. Yes, iron bras, not iron bars. Anyway, now that that's done, and I did forget one material, which I thought I did. So I want to take this out because we're done with those. And we're going to go and get string. And the string is going to go across like so. And you know what? There might be one other material I forgot. I was like, I looked over for like two minutes. I'm like, I didn't forget anything, right? And, of, and naturally I do. I forget two things. And the other thing I forgot was light gray carpet. So now you see kind of where the table's gonna, where the table's coming from. And I mean, I don't think I have to sh say the dimensions of the table. You guys are smart enough to know. What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Sorry if you guys hear whatever is in my background right now, but I mean. I'm. I have my window shut and I have my pop filter over my mic. What the hell is that? I don't know, whatever. We'll move on. Then you want to put these quartz stairs where these gaps are. So now you have your chairs for your dining table. So this is looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. I would know I built it, right? Then we have this. Very nice. And next, we want to... Hmm. Here. We're going to fill this in, like so. Get our stairs out, and go upside down. And we're going to place our flower pots and our roses. And then we're going to get our... Pillared quartz out, 
By the way, the only other material that we haven't used that was paintings, and that's because I'm not going to be building with the paintings. Because I already have them placed and it would take forever for me to do them otherwise. Okay, now we're placing some more flower pots and roses. If you're in default, I'd suggest you put like each different individual solo one by one painting. So it looks like fine china, but I can't do that in the city texture pack, unfortunately. Now we want to get our quartz out and our iron bars out. And we go down one, two, three. Now we continue that pattern. One, two, three. And this is where the lighting in the room comes in. Because now we have chandeliers. And we're going to get our levers out. And there you go, guys. That's the room. And then over here you have the mural over the room, the ventilation. A clock to tell the time. So yeah, if you guys like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up if you're new, subscribe, and comment what you thought, and comment future tutorials you'd want to see. Anyway, have a good night.